What's up guys, I'm back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to back up and play your own Wii games from a USB flash drive. Let's get right into it. Alright, so, the things that we're going to need for this are our SD card that we used to put the homebrew channel on our Wii in the last video, I'll link that in the description, and a USB flash drive. I don't think it's really brand sensitive. This one just says Lexar on it. I had it laying around the house. It is 16 gigabytes, so that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to want to do is pop our SD card into our computer. And let's hop over to the computer here. So there's two programs that we're going to have to grab first, and that is the CIOS installer and USB loader GX. So, CIOS installer, like it says right here, is a custom piece of software that is used by some applications that work with unofficial content. We're going to go down to where you see Guide, and it will have a download for the Wii and the Wii U. We're obviously going to download the Wii version. Just like in all my other videos, I like making a folder on the desktop just so we have something to extract this into. We'll just call this one uh, CIOS. You guys can name it whatever you want. Um, we'll grab CIOS installer, just drag it in there. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and grab USB Loader GX. I'll leave a link for both of these programs in the description below. Alright, so once you have your USB Loader GX and CIOS installed, you're going to want to drag them into that folder that we created on the desktop and we're going to extract them. I am going to put these in their own separate folder. You guys don't have to, but I will. I'll just call this one CIOS or CIOD. I'll fuck it up. And we'll do another one. Just call it USB Loader. Drag them in their respective folders and we will extract them. Okay, next we're gonna throw these on our SD card. You'll see USB Loader has its own apps folder. We're just gonna open that. We're gonna grab the USB Loader GX and just drag it into the app section of our SD card. And we're gonna do the same thing with the CIOS installer. Just open apps, drag that straight into the apps on the SD card. And uh, we're all set with the SD card portion of this. So now we're gonna go ahead and pop in our USB flash drive. You see I have my named, but uh, we actually have to format this. So I'm just gonna go to Wii Backups, right click, go to Format. So this depends honestly on the drive that you're using. I've had this work with different formats such as the NTFS and FAT32. So it seems for me, if I go to Format to NTFS, that will allow me to play iOS games that I haven't backed up. I can be able to basically drag and drop them onto the Wii. Now, if you're going to make your own backups, FAT32 seems to be the best. So we're just going to format it to FAT32 for today's video. Okay. Now that that's done, let's head back over to the Wii. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and take our SD card, pop that bad boy back in the Wii, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the homebrew channel. Actually, before we continue, it's important that your Wii should be connected to the internet. So if you haven't done that, stop here, connect to the internet, and then come back. No! No! Homebrew channel, start. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is the CIOS installer. We're not gonna touch the USB loader GX right now. So just open that, go to load. And I have a little notepad with what we have to do here just so I wouldn't forget. That's right, I wrote it down. So you're gonna get this main screen right here. It just says press any button to continue. I'm just gonna press A. And this looks a little confusing, but just follow along with me. We'll get through this together. It's actually pretty easy. Um, for the first selection here, it says select CIOS D2X. We're going to change that by moving right on our Wiimote. And we're going to change this to the 
V10 Beta 53 Alt. Cool. Next, for the CIOS base, we're going to change this to 56. For the CIOS slot, we're going to change this to 249. So actually, we're not going to change that. That one's good to go. Uh, CIOS revision is going to be 65535. And then we're just going to press A to continue. You're going to notice that 200 is highlighted already in yellow. We're going to keep it like that and just press A. And now the console is just going to do its thing for a minute. It's going to install what we need and uh, I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, we're back. And now that we're done, you can see down in the corner here uh, where it says 249, it's highlighted in green. That means it was successful. So we're going to go ahead and hit the B button to exit out of this. And this is going to take us back to the homebrew menu. But we're not done here. We're going to open CIOS installer one more time. And we're going to do it one more time. But with different settings, of course. So hit A to continue. For the first selection, we're going to make this one beta 52. V10 beta 52. Yep, this one looks good. The base is going to be 57. The slot is going to be 250. And the revision is going to be 65535. Set A to continue. It's going to have 200 selected again, just like before. Just hit A. And this one's going to install again. So I will come back once this one's done as well. Okay, so we're done with this one here, and as you can see, slot 250 is now highlighted in green. So this is exactly what we wanted, so we're just going to hit B, exit out, and go back to the homebrew menu. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our USB flash drive, and we're going to plug this into the back of the Wii. Uh, you should notice that there's two slots back there. Only one of those slots works for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into each and start up USB Loader GX and you guys can kind of see what happens when you plug it into the wrong slot. So let's do that. So I got it plugged in. Then we'll load up USB Loader GX. Now you see it's searching for applications and then it says waiting for hard drive. Please wait 18 seconds. So now all I'm going to do is just switch it to the next USB port. You can see now that I plugged it in, it's loading resources and it booted up. So that's all that'll happen if you plug it in the wrong slot. Um, again, I don't know why this happens, but it does. So now that we're here, we are going to grab one of our Wii games. I have uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl here and we're just going to pop this into the Wii. Just takes a second so you can see this will automatically pop up it'll say install or mount dvd drive we're gonna do install install game just give it a second it's not done yet all right so now that's popped up you can see it'll say super smash brothers brawl 6.93 gigabytes so we're just gonna hit okay and it's gonna start the installation process uh, it'll obviously tell me how much time we have left on this. I'm probably just going to fast forward to the end of this because I doubt you guys want to wait around for... Is it going to slow down? Is it going to slow down? It's going pretty quick, actually. I have a feeling this is going to be about 30 minutes, though. All right. Looks like uh, we're getting ready to finish up here. And it'll say successfully installed Super Smash Brothers Brawl. So let's go ahead and go to OK. Now you'll see that the game says no image on it. If you click it, it'll do a cover download. So you'll see what this means in a second. I'll just do it. Just give this a second. Shouldn't take too long. A few moments later. All right, so I guess it actually just took a while and I had to wait for all these to pop up for some reason. 
all images downloaded successfully. How to shut down, we'll go ahead and just do cancel, close. Are you sure you want to remount the SD? Cancel, back. All right. So now you can see we have Super Smash Brothers Brawl right there. Uh, if I go here, gives us a better picture. I don't have any more games installed, but if I did, this would be the whole list of it. And as you can see too, I have the game in my hand and we're just gonna boot it up, see how it runs. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, if you're having any trouble getting these games to install or just to put any on in general, just try reformatting your drive. I did FAT32 for this, but there are other options. Uh, it, it's honestly just kind of hard to tell with a USB flash drive. It, it could be different. So uh, when in doubt, if you have any trouble, just try formatting the USB drive and try getting back to it. But everything seems to be running pretty cool so far. So far, no problems. I'm not going to play a whole lot of this. We'll just jump into training just to make sure everything works. Oh, the basic characters! Ugh, oh, I gotta fucking win everybody. Uh, I guess I'll go work. And... Whatever. Just to kind of test it. Which, everything's... Whoops. Yeah, everything seems to be running right. Cool. I'm gonna fuck you up! I'm gonna fuck you up! Let's go back to the Wii menu. Alright guys, uh, that's it for this tutorial. If you run into any trouble, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you can go ahead and drop a like, maybe a subscribe, it would greatly help out my channel and I'd really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Come and have a good time.